Alright, so for anyone that has not played this game, this is meant for two players. But I'm just going to be playing by myself. Uh, if you guys notice, I'm the yellow character. And the point of this game is to just like destroy the city and accumulate as much points as possible. And there's like certain things you can do to like make more points, I guess. Like um, right now I'm trying to ghost ride that whip. There's two cars right here. So I'm trying to ghost ride. Oh, never mind. They fell. Um, so there's this other cop car that I'm going to try to ghost ride. But it's kind of hard to control it because of the other characters. Like if you get too far, it's like, it like zooms out. And it's hard to see. Like I don't know what just happened. Like why is the other character like jumping all of a sudden? Like Anyways, um, yeah, the whole point of this game is to just destroy the city. And it just reminded me of... Uh, when I was downloading the game, I, I was reading through the comments, and one of the comments said something about how it's like, you know, two females kind of like getting back at the world because, you know, like the world's so fucked up right now. Or, I mean, not right now, but like, just in general. Like, there's so much shit happening. Like, there's a lot of discrimination based on like gender, race, just a lot of things. And the comment said something about how these two female characters kind of just getting revenge at the world and which is you know a cool way to put it because i really couldn't find any other connection to me this is to me this is just like a fun simple game to just come at and just like you know smash things kind of reminds me of smash bros and another comment i read was somebody put it as smash sis something like that but yeah going back to how like this world is so fucked up right now while I was playing this game a little bit more, I kind of like thinking a little bit deeper that about how, you know, in this game you come and smash things and a lot of the things like fall over. So you kind of like a, a way to put it is you come to this game, you smash things, everything like falls down. Things are disappearing from like the, the clouds and the ground. So you're kind of like getting rid of everything that's going on get you're getting rid of the social divisions of class race gender ethnicity citizenship sexuality and i mean the list goes on there's a lot of things i can talk about and it's even worse when you're like at the crossroad this in this crossroad i'm talking about is basically when you face discriminations is whether because you know you're this person you identify as this person so there's these stereotypes about you so if an example if you're black all right so quickly i'm just gonna insert another clip from when i was trying to play both players and i'm just gonna narrate some other stuff cool you have all these stereotypes about you and if you're also gay then there's all these discrimination against you because you know Society says that you're a man, so you have to act masculine, you have to act act a certain way, and a lot of the media portrays this, you know, like we see a lot of the movies like Thor, there's, so Thor is this god, this, this like muscular figure, you know, like he defeats everything or whatever, so then you have that, but then you also have all the discrimination because you're gay, so you basically kind of like combine these and now you're at a crossroad which is basically intersectionality and now you face both discrimination from both sides you face all the stereotypes for being a black man and you have to deal with all the hate for being a gay black man so it's like you're black but then now you're like a black gay man which makes it worse according to society and it's funny because you know stereotype the word was basically used for as a printing term but now it's like turned into this whole other thing just to show it's just it just goes to show you how fucked up the world has and is becoming another thing i wanted to bring up is semiotics which from my understanding is basically kind of looking at a game playing this game figuring like just figuring out finding the deeper meaning within the game so how I did it in this game when I first started playing it was to me it was just smashing things but if you start like thinking deeper there's actually a message I mean not all the games have like that deeper meaning but this game in particular I think 
can have that meaning, that other meaning, which to me, you know, was basically you're smashing the world, cleaning it from everything that's wrong, 